welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, and thanks for watching. If you're new to this, what we do is we play a random game, don't edit it. I try my best to explain what I'm thinking, and if you like this sort of thing, there's a playlist in the channel. It's called Let's Play Solitaire with games just like today's. If you're looking to get better, there's also a playlist called Solitaire Tips with all kinds of uh, tips on how to get better at this game. Anyway, I'll try to explain what I think here, and uh, I'll get going. There's a career record, well, record in this computer anyway. Anyway, uh, let's get started and maybe see if we can learn a trick or two. So first things first, I like to go for the columns, although I'm a little cautious of playing these low cards over. Because sometimes that can backfire, but I think this might be okay. We'll see. So there's a 9, we can play 8. Oh good, we can move the spread 5 here. I think that's about it. We do have a problem with two red three or two red threes, and uh, yeah, something to watch out for. All right, I think a mistake that's made a lot of time is don't play the first card you see in the draw pile. Save it for later. Although you can sometimes make a case for aces as long as you can do that. I, I'm almost tempted not to play the second card either, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play aggressive here because I'd like to get to move at a decent speed if that's possible. Did I only pull one right? Only pulled one card. Okay. So the next time around, we're going to play this ace. Ace of spades. That's the goal next time around. Uh, I think we'll play the king. So seven. We can play this nine. I think there was a four somewhere else. Was there not? I can't remember now. I think there was another four. I think there was another black four at the very front of the draw pile. We're going to save that for insurance, I believe. That's probably not a good move. So we're going to, we're going to keep that low card. Especially a low card in the back of the draw pile is probably not something you want to play. Just because of how many times you get jammed up. If it's in the front of the draw pile, you can make a case for it. But if it's in the back, you don't want to do that. Here's the four I was talking about. That's our insurance card. We'll get to it. Although... Since seeing we have the ace of spades here, I guess that whole point was moot. But typically, strategy-wise, uh, it's better. Nothing's 100% in this game. So, but some moves are typically better than others. You know, it's, a lot of depends on the layout and stuff. But okay, that's good. We, well, good and bad. We got the king open there. So we'll see if we can just keep moving some cards here. And this is this is going to be the critical part when we get to it, but we're going to see if there's any other moves. There is a king there. Okay. Yes, this is our get to it stage. So there is the four. There's the three. I'm not sure how many of these cards we should play next because we have the seven and a four. A four diamonds. Neither one can be played right now. So we're going to see what else is. Yeah, it's a black seven. Can't play that. We're going to see which one of these two threes is a candidate. A good candidate here. So that opens up this. We're still playing. Dead end. But do we have a 10 somewhere? We do have a jack. And we can move this 10. So I'm going to continue with that route. And see where that leads us. Uh, there is another red jack at the end. But we're going to play this red jack here. And so that gives us a 7 and a 6. So that's good. Now we got an ace of diamonds. That's good. We have also can play this king. So the question is, which one of these two jacks? I'm going to try this jack here. That's dead end. Let's see if this jack leads us to anything else. Not bad. I think I'm going to go with this one. And here, this is the thing I was talking about. Like, uh, this two clubs is actually blocking. We're going to get out of it. But this two clubs is blocking the three of diamonds. Fortunately, we have another three right here, so we're good. But that's just one of the things I was talking about. You don't want to bring low cards down sometimes early because they can block block your cards. Other cards you can bring in for the top. And I think I think I'm gonna play the four diamonds here. I think that's the play anyway. Okay. Let me see where we're at again. And nothing there. So that's a dead end. So that path doesn't work. We're going to go back a little bit and see what other paths. So the other option we had here was to play this jack, which gave us a queen. And 
and maybe not play the four of diamonds. Okay, so that gives us the jack right there. Which we had. We did play this 10. I think we played that 10. Okay, we can play this 10 right here. Here's a red queen. Now we can play the other jack. So that actually was the better move of the two. Playing that jack. That gets us, solves it. Or it will solve it in just a minute if we don't uh, mess up. If we don't mess up these cards right here, we'll solve it. Got to be smart with a draw pile at the end of the game. Oh, that's a seven of spades. That's going to be a problem for us. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to play out at the back first. So there's the five, uh, or the six. There's the nine of spades in there. That could be a good card, maybe. We'll see. So I can't play any of those. I think the nine is the card we're going to key on next. So we need to move one card to get to that nine. That'll be this card. But if we don't move the five, that means this eight... Yeah, this eight will come down, so we can get, still play the five. The black five, that is. So going through here again. There's the eight. There's the nine. Okay. So... Next time around, we'll be able to play this Eight of Diamonds. The next time around, anyway. And so here we are, Eight of Diamonds. But more importantly, the time after that, we will, we, we will be able to play that Seven of Spades right there. So kind of a big deal here. We play the Seven of Spades. Now the question is, do we want the Four? Yeah, we'll play the Four of Diamonds. And we'll, we'll figure out the rest of this. So I'm going to drop each card there. Four of diamonds. Next time we'll play the five of diamonds. And here we go. Next time we can play this five of clubs right here. And now we can play the rest of the cards. And uh, we solve it there. So, we're able to manipulate the draw pile on just right at the end. Uh, it's one of the trickier parts of this game. If you can do that, you're going to be able to salvage a lot of uh, tough games or games where you Oh no, I can't do it, I can't do it. You just gotta kind of kind of play it by feel and uh, figure out which ones to pull when and you'll get a gem there. Anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap this up. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, there's a playlist on this channel. It's called Let's Play Solitaire. And if you're looking for more tips, of course, there's a playlist on this channel called Solitaire Tips. Uh, be sure to check that out whenever you get a chance. And uh, my, in my opinion, my best two videos on Solitaire Tips are these two. They're pretty extensive so between the two they're like an hour long one's like 35 minutes 36 minutes the other's like 25 minutes they're the best two that i've made in terms of depth and all kinds of tips and stuff like that to help you get better anyway that's going to wrap this up i'd like to thank you for watching and wish you good luck